Hi, we're here with Jim Koch and his photo exhibit called Prime Mover of photos of Jim Morrison in 1967, right? That's right. That's Tell me the great. story. It feels great to see the pictures up again and they were in the garage for lost for 25 years and I, I never saw them until after the Doors movie came out. I didn't realize they even existed. I shot them when I was 20 years old and uh, somebody asked me, hey, you shoot pictures, do you have any from back then? And I found them. Why is Jim larger than life, or at least life-size? Yeah, he's about life-size because I wanted to do a mural of Jim Morrison. And these are all the pictures of him that show him performing. Going from a silence to a scream. So this is called the scream sequence. Mm -hmm. And so the mural would have him life-size. The, the whole scream sequence as a life-size. Yes, that's right. And. Ah. Uh, when I looked at all the pictures, I found that I had just so many that showed him from head to toe. Mm -hmm. And I put them together in a sequence that showed some sort of rhythm. Like, and that's what this is. In fact, the stills, these are the stills on the opposite wall. They're all the original black and white pictures. So, This is the first picture you took on that day? It's the first one in the sequence. Okay. So it shows him in silence and he, he didn't say a word to the audience that day he was very controlled very very much into the music and not playing around with the audience at all and as you see the audience is sitting on the stage people were having a good time being up close people trusted each other and here you have the drummer obviously john densmore ray manzarek morrison and robbie krieger that's a great photo. You've got them all in there. I mean, it's, it's great. You're just right on the side of the stage. There's no guard holding you back or no, about no. to hit you on the head. As you see, the sun, the shadows are straight down, so the sun was high noon. It mm -hmm. was unusual that the those overcast coastal light of California was filtering the light. So it, it ended wow. up being very well lit, indirect lighting almost. Then this is the second shot where he looks right at me. He's looking right at the camera. And so is this girl here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people started watching me, and I'm kind of twisting it. You can see where I'm not just shooting straight. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a different angle. And then same here, uh, same angle. And just right across through here, this is the ninth one. That's the most dynamic one. That's the one that's on the poster and on the T-shirt. And yeah, then, that's great. Why did you pick that one uh, as the most dynamic? The most, well, it, it's just it shows the most motion and most emotion. And then this is the scream. This is what yeah. called the scream sequence because he's, he's actually yelling. You know, he's so into it. His heels are off the ground. I mean, he's. If you turn this one sideways, he's actually looks like he's flying. He's, he's just. Oh, okay. He's just. Ah. <laughs> But Densmore is really, I mean, I like seeing, you know, the blur of the sticks. I like always getting the hands of the musicians if I can. And showing how musicians play. And then this is sort of the come down, you know, after he's exhausted himself, he's sort of really gasping for air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the one, the closest shot I have of him. And I, I'm sure I changed lenses too. I probably used a 135. Mm -hmm. I didn't get up in his face. I had a, t a telephoto lens. Mm -hmm. And um, as we go across... That's a great shot. What's going on with the horn? I don't know. Nobody's been able to explain it. I, when I showed Rayman Zarek that, he, he didn't remember what it was about either. So, um, But he was getting some effect. Is it a flower? Yeah, yeah they're flowers. And then the gas mask on the mannequin is in the next picture more, more clearly. And here he's kind of dreaming away and taking a breath between screams, I guess. There were two different color slides, and I just took them out of their holders and put them back together and put the scans together. Yeah. And then these are collaborations with a good friend of mine, uh, Victor Raphael, and he put the gold leaf on these. So he made like an iconic image, almost like a religious icon. Um, he's, and he put this metal and gold leaf on that one, and then 
that shot of the flag is the same as the one we looked at earlier, but it's cropped. And there's gold leaf coming out of his head. It looks like there's, you can see it actually, can't you? So if people want to see more of your work or find you, is there a way they can contact you? Yeah, they can go to uh, my website, and jimcoke.com, C-O-K-E dot com.